Hello mga ka -NG. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we will be discussing all you need to know about the tragedy of the commons. Okay, Mizira, take it away. After this learning mini video, hopefully the viewers may acquire the knowledge on the following topics, like the definition of the tragedy of the common. What are the effects of the tragedy of the common? And finally, how can we stop the effects of the tragedy of the common? First, what is the tragedy of the common? Tragedy of the common is a situation in a shared resource system where individual users, acting independently according to their own self interest, behave contrary to the common good of all users by depleting or spoiling the shared resource through their collective action. The model was conceptualized by the British economist, William Foster Lloyd, who used a hypothetical example of the effects of unregulated grazing on common land or also known as a common. The tragedy of the commons is used also in environmental science. The tragedy of the commons is often cited in connection with the sustainable development, the meshing economic growth, and the environmental protection, as well as in the debate, over global warming. It has also been used, in analyzing behavior in the fields of economics, evolutionary psychology, anthropology, game theory, politics, taxation, and sociology. We can relate the tragedy of the commons, in many situations, but the best example is, the cattle herding in a non-controlled pasture area, or the common pasture area. For example, there is a piece of land that is not owned by anybody, or also known as a common area. Anybody can access or can use the resources in the said common area. Since it is common, there is no regulation nor somebody to govern, or anybody can do anything in the said area. Any farmer can put on their cows, sheep, and goats, in any amount that they wish in the common area. Each environment has its own carrying capacity, meaning, that the area can only accommodate certain number of population of individuals, and species without exhausting one's resources. In the said common pasture area, it can only accommodate six cows sustainably. When the population of cow exceeds to six cows, the grass in the common cannot grow fast, in a way that it can accommodate the hungry cows anymore. When this happens, the land may become barren, and there will be time that the common area, cannot be used for grazing cows anymore. There are two farmers that are sharing the common pasture area, for their cows to graze on. Each farmer owns two cows, thus, the area has four cows to feed. Farmer A, on the left of the slide, owns two brown cows. Farmer B, on the other side or on the right, owns two white cows with black spots. The common area, can sustainably support the cow population, since it does not exceed the carrying capacity of the common pasture area. The grass has enough time to grow, and be grazed by the cows. Assuming that the cows are healthy and well fed, and that they are producing one canister of milk per day. Farmer B, wanted to earn more money. So, he added two more cows, in the common pasture area. The area now, has six cows all in all, sharing and grazing the common grassland. The said common area, can still accommodate the six cows, since the carrying capacity of the land can accommodate maximum of six cows. Farmer B now collects, four canisters of milk each day, 
and has twice the profit compared to Farmer A. When Farmer A notices that, Farmer B has more earnings, he wanted to have the same profit, and also added two more brown cows, in the common pasture area. The common pasture area has now, eight cows sharing the grasslands. Since the common pasture area, exceeded the carrying capacity, the grass in the area cannot grow back, fast in time. The consumption of grass was greater than its growth, making the area barren. Since the food of the cows were reduced, so did the production of their milk. Formerly, the cows produce one canister of milk per day, but, since the carrying capacity of the common pasture area was exceeded, each cow can now only produce, half a canister of milk per day. Furthermore, since the cows are hungry, their health also diminished, which may lead to sickness then death, reducing its population back to the carrying capacity, of the common pasture area. We can also relate, the tragedy of the commons, to housing problems. The slide shows, three houses, house A, that is on the left, house B, is in the middle, and, house C, is on the right. Each house can only accommodate, one family with four members. The three houses, were erected in a common area with equal distances. The families can enjoy activities, that can be done in the common space in between their houses. Also, each member of the family enjoys the luxury of space such as bedrooms, living room, and kitchen. At first, each the house has one family with four members, thus, each house did not exceed their carrying capacity. As the years goes by, the son of the owner of House B got married, and his wife is expecting a baby soon. Due to the additional member, on the family that resides in House B, they needed additional space for the bedrooms. Since the area where the houses are erected are in common area, the family in House B can get the remaining free space, and expand their house to accommodate their need for additional rooms. But, by doing so, the family in House B, somehow violates the space of its neighbors. The slide, shows a common problem in Metro Manila, or any crowded city, where some families occupies, or encroaches a common area, that is supposed to be for everybody's use. Encroachment is defined as the intrusion of a person's, or everybody's territory and rights. The photo suggests that, if the road that is supposed to be, for everyone's use was occupied, it is unfair to the other people, who are using the road. This is also considered as a fire hazard, since firefighters cannot easily access and kill fire, beyond the encroached area. This scenario, can be related to the problems, of the tragedy of the commons. The tragedy of the commons, can be related into the diminishing aquatic resources, due to overfishing of common areas. Such as, seas, and ocean. This slide, suggests that, there is a sea that has many fish in it. The sea, is considered as common area, since nobody owns it, meaning, anybody can go there and fish as many as they want. The sea has many fish on it, and can replenish its population over time, since there is only one fisherman harvesting fish in the said common area. Another fisherman discovered, that the sea was very abundant with fish. As a result, he also sailed in the said sea, to gather fish. 
since there are two fishermen that are gathering fish in the said area, the abundant population of fish decreases, and cannot multiply for in short period of time. Then another fisherman joined the first two fishermen, in the said sea to also gather fish. Since the harvesting rate of fish, was greater than its multiplication rate of the fish, the fish population in the said sea, diminishes. Time will come, that there will be no fish to catch, if the fishing in the area will not be regulated. All the resources will be soon all gone, if the resources will not be protected. Everyone will be affected in each reckless doings, and it might also result in a very unpleasant effect. Is he Garrett? No. That's Kevin Garnett, not Garrett. Now, is he Hardin? Not again. That's James Hardin. I cannot believe men. All they know is basketball. Dr. Garrett Hardin popularized the tragedy of the commons by writing an article in 1968, a century after William Foster Lloyd formulated the idea. In a modern economic context, commons is taken to mean any shared and unregulated resource, such as the atmosphere, oceans, rivers, ocean fish stocks, or even an office refrigerator. Likewise, Dr. Hardin stated in his article that, ruin is the destination toward which all men rush, each pursuing his own best interest in a society that believes in freedom of the commons. Freedom in a common brings ruin to all. One of the examples of the unpleasant effects due to the tragedy of the common, is the low quality of life. Low quality of life, such as, lack of access to clean and potable water, in some regions of the world, is one of the examples of the bad effects, of the tragedy of the common. For example, a beverage company and the residents are sharing the groundwater. Since the water is groundwater, it is considered as common resources. The residents use a tiny portion of the groundwater, but the beverage company uses enormous groundwater in their production. The beverage company can gather as many groundwater as they want, without considering the welfare of the residents. Groundwater levels become deeper and deeper, until the well they dug was emptied. In order to gather fresh water, many residents walk long distances just to fetch water in far areas, and they consume almost half of the day in doing so. The consumed, or rather the wasted time, by the residents should have been used in studying, that they will be needing to earn more money for their future. Another undesirable effect, of the tragedy of the commons, is the high cost of food. In order to produce food at low costs, farmers needed fresh water, and vast of acres of land. Mismanagement and misallocation of land, causes low production of crops. Likewise, converting fertile lands with good quality soil, that is good for farming into industrial, and housing purposes, also decreases the yield of food crops, like rice, or locally known as poli. Furthermore, when farmers cannot access enough water for irrigating their fields, due to the water competition between the hotels, habitation, and other industries, causes crop yields to be low. The following factors lessen the supply of food, while the demand is going high, due to the increase in population. According to economics, when these situations happen, the price of food also drastically increases. Problems on water accessibility, that causes low quality of life, mismanagement of land, which causes low production of food, 
and other undesirable effects of the tragedy of the commons, causes poverty to the affected people. But there is a more serious issue that the world is facing today, which can be related to the tragedy of the commons. We can relate the global warming, with the tragedy of the commons. Atmosphere, is a natural resource that can be considered as a common resource. Every advanced nation wanted to increase their productivity, for the growth of their economy. In order for them to produce more, they needed energy by burning fossil fuels. Burning lot of fossil fuels, emit more carbon that is trapped in the atmosphere, and causes global warming. One of the effects of global warming, is the rising water level of the oceans. The most affected people by this event, was the residents of an island nation of Kiribati, that was located at the Central Pacific region. Because of the effect of the global warming, the ocean is claiming their land, and soon their nation will disappear. Are the undesirable effects of the tragedy of the common preventable? Let us discuss the procedures, of how we can avoid the irreversibly bad effects, of the tragedy of the commons. One of the procedures to minimize the effect of the tragedy of the common, is to regulate the use, gathering, and harvesting, of open access or common natural resources. It is also important to elect officials, that have strong will and vision, in the protection of the environment and its natural resources. The elected officials, have the power to make environmental laws and regulations. In Nova Scotia, Canada, one of their famous products is the lobster. Lobster in the said province of Canada is well known all over North America. Lobsters from Nova Scotia are shipped into different states of the USA, and all the provinces in Canada. Lobsters only reproduce seasonally, and to ensure that lobsters in Nova Scotia are sustainable, the authorities regulated the fishing activities. Regulating the fishing or harvesting of aquatic animals, will help them replenish their population. Ensuring that fishing of certain species in its right season, and only right sizes will secure the species so they will thrive and reproduce sustainably. Those that are too small must be released back in the sea, to allow them to grow, and multiply in the right time. The slide shows, the map of Nova Scotia, Canada together with the areas of concerns where lobsters thrives. Also, the slide shows tabulated data, on what specific area you can only harvest lobster in a certain period of time. The season, or what time of the year is allowed to collect lobster in a given area. Moreover, the slide shows, how many numbers of traps can only be laid in the area. And lastly, the allowed minimum size of lobster that can be harvested. Protection of common resources, is another method in mitigating the effects, of the tragedy of the commons. The slide shows, that an agent of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources or DENR, is monitoring the forest for any illegal loggers and illegal activities. Illegal logging may cause extreme flooding to the low-lying areas. Likewise, the said activity destroys the forest, and the habitats of certain species living in the forest. Another method of mitigating the effects, of the tragedy of the commons, is to support the activities towards environmental protection. Activities such as, clean up drives, and rehabilitation of beaches, like, the joint effort of government, local industry and local residents did in Boracay Island, that makes the tourism in the area sustainable. 
Planting trees also help the ecosystem in an area become sustainable. This will also help improve the quality of air in the area. The key aspects of the recently delivered discussion were as follows, the definition of the tragedy of the commons. The effects of the tragedy of the commons like reduction, depletion, or destruction of resources in a common area. And finally, in order to eliminate the irreversible bad effects of the tragedy of the commons, authorities must regulate and protect the common areas and its resources. That's all you need to know about the tragedy of the commons. See you in our next video. Thank you very much for watching. You're new in my YouTube channel. Please click the subscribe button for you to get an updates on my latest videos. Please click like and share if you like this video. And leave your comments below for the improvement of my next videos. Thank you.